Uh, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has been diagnosed with COVID. That uh, news came out over the week. Uh, Her office put out this statement saying, today the Office of Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez released the following statement. Representative Ocasio-Cortez has received a positive test result for COVID-19. She is experiencing symptoms and recovering at home. The Congresswoman received her booster shot this fall and encourages everyone to get their booster and follow all CDC guidance. So. Um, you're not gonna be surprised to find out that she was vaccinated and boosted, had had all of that. But as we know with Omicron, you can still get sick. Now for the absolute lizard brains out there, uh, that does not mean that the vaccination doesn't matter. It's the simplest point and I don't know how people cannot understand that. Mm -hmm. But that said, while she's not hospitalized and she hasn't died and hopefully that will not happen. uh, Hopefully the vaccination will do what it does and stop that from happening. Uh, As of right now, Francesca, she uh, is sick and uh, is experiencing symptoms. And it doesn't say very light symptoms, so we're left to speculate as to how bad it can be. I know from people that I know that even Omicron, even vaccinated can lay you out like the flu. Milder means less likely to end up on a ventilator. It doesn't mean it won't be an absolutely horrendous sickness. So um, you know, obviously as a first point, Feel really bad for the representative and hope that she gets over very quickly and doesn't mm-hmm. experience long, uh, long COVID symptoms. If you want chicken soup, John will be there. He will bring it to you in a Tupperware. He will cook a chicken in a crock pot for days and it'll be perfect. <laughs> perfect uh, if you, tender. Yeah, if you want a foot massage, but like totally understand if you don't, that's weird. But if your boyfriend with great feet wants a foot massage, John will also provide that. Um, but we must protect the representative at all costs. Protect her, protect, no, um, <laughs> it's it's awful. Yeah, people who've been boosted, it's nasty guys, COVID, nasty. <laughs> Two years in, it's bad. And yes, getting boosted and being vaccinated greatly reduces your chance of it being really, really bad. But it makes sense, you know, look, uh, Senator Elizabeth Warren, a couple other senators, this is long after sort of what is, you know, broccoli top, uh, Paul Rand had his bout of COVID and then went to the gym. My only thing with, oh. with AOC is like, why quarantine? I think it'd be a great moment to engage in some bipartisanship right now. Uh, and that AOC should really be speaking to the other side of the aisle and reaching across with her hands, just <coughs> oh, and reaching out stop. to Lauren Boebert and reaching out to Marjorie Taylor Greene and all the other people who are definitely not vaccinated, right? That's um, obviously uh, the views expressed by Francesca are not shared by uh, TDR. Uh, that is a dangerous game that you play, shaking hands with Marjorie Green. Oh yes, you will transmit the COVID, but what will you get in return from that hand? God only knows, so mm-hmm. uh, tread carefully. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, no, obviously feel bad for the representative. Um, you know, she's, she's one of the best that we have on policy and on, you know, Political rhetoric, the ability to you know, move the dialogue and all that. Sorry, I, I mean she's the absolute worst. If that'll get crowdsourced money to me, it's the weirdest thing that we have people that that is now their career. But anyway, um, we do know, of course, and this is uh, most of the coverage that the mainstream media has provided on this, especially the right-leaning mainstream media, which I define as the mainstream media, uh, has been about her trip to Florida. And look, the fact that she came down. So soon after her trip to Florida makes it difficult to discount the possibility that she got it there. Uh, We talked about her trip, you know, after Footgate. Um, And uh, yeah, look, I said at the time, I I would not go to Florida. And when I say that, that is not a total hypothetical. My mother lives in Florida. I used to visit her quite frequently, and I have not during the pandemic. So Florida has been hit very hard in every wave. DeSantis and the state Republican government doesn't care at all about any of this. So it is a dangerous place to go, particularly with Omicron flowing around. She's an adult and she can make her own decisions, um, but it is possible that that's where she got it. We have no idea and we will probably never know. I didn't even put that together, but that does make sense now that I think about it. I was like, oh yeah, I guess she was on, oh yeah, mm, eh. Mm. Yeah, but anyway, just you know, really hope that she gets through it, and uh, and I mean that in, in two ways. So I want to use this to try to remind people. So first of all, I hope that she doesn't have a really bad case. Um, I know, like, 
Uh, Christelle Alonzo is a comedian who we were supposed to see a show of hers. Um, uh, and she got COVID and has been hit really hard. So it can hit you really hard initially. But also there is the threat of long COVID, the idea that you know, AOC or anyone could experience long term fatigue or mental fogginess or all of the huge amount of different symptoms is is devastating. And so for people who are operating in good faith and are um, you know compassionate human beings, that is generally how we're gonna approach this. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.